Hello everyone, John here for AZ Concealed Carry. Wanted to do a uh, quick unboxing slash tabletop review of the Smith & Wesson MMP Shield. Picked this up today at a gun show. I uh, was pretty surprised to see it there actually. Had you know no expectations whatsoever. Uh, this is the 40 cal version, which is the one I was looking for because 40 cal is my preferred caliber for everyday carry. Um, it is available in 9mm as well, and the gentleman I bought it from did have a 9mm one as well, which he had sold earlier in the day. And let's take a look here. Yeah, as you'll notice, it comes in the uh, cardboard box instead of a more standard um, plastic carry case or storage case with the foam padding, which I really have no preference uh, whatsoever. Again, this is going to be my everyday carry, so um, let's see here. We've got the Davidson's Guaranteed Lifetime Replacement card in there. Oh, um, on the left hand side here you'll see the uh, mandatory lock, you see some paperwork underneath. The right side here, we've got a 7 round magazine with a removable floor plate or extension. Um, <clears throat> we've got the spent shell casing on there as well. When we open it up in this compartment here, we've got the gun and it has the 6 round magazine with the flat floor plate in it. Get this out of the way here. A <clears throat> um, couple things that I want to just talk about about the gun. It is a lot smaller than I expected it. Unfortunately, uh, I didn't really get a chance to take a look at one prior to today. With them being in such high demand, I've had a real hard time finding one. Uh, it's a, it's a nice little neat gun. Uh, the one thing that I absolutely do not care for is the safety. Okay, the thumb safety there. I really was hoping Smith & Wesson would either omit it completely or come out with a version that does not have it. Fortunately though, after playing with it, it's somewhat of a stiff safety. So um, for me, for example, I plan on carrying it without with the safety off at all times. Uh, and with it being kind of stiff, it'll be difficult to accidentally pop it on, which is okay. It kind of compensates for it. Uh, I do have the MNP 40 compact as well, which I did purchase with the uh, the no safety. Um, what I do like is, and this gun is safety checked. It was in the box, hasn't had any ammo in it yet. Um, <clears throat> it still has the ability to fire without a magazine, which is nice. So with the safety off, you know, so that's okay. Um, like I said, you can just elect to leave it off if you're like me. Uh, six round, seven round magazine. Would have been nice if the magazines were blued instead of uh, just this matte steel color. Uh, let's see here. Let's go over some of the stats on the gun. Um, it is striker fired, 3.1 inch barrel, 6.1 inch overall length, uh, 4.6 inch height, 0.95 inches on the width. Empty with no magazine, it's 19 ounces. Six and a half pound trigger pull, which is pretty much the same as the uh, MMP 40 compact that I have. <clears throat> Excuse me, three dot sights. Uh, they already have several aftermarket options for them from night sights to one that I saw, which was really interesting, which was uh, fiber, fiber optic. A fiber optic front and two fiber optic in the back available in green or red. I do plan on getting Trijicon night sights for this uh, since it will be my everyday carry. But the white dots that are on there are pretty bright, sharp, and easy to see. I really like that. I'm impressed with it. Um, uh, the frame is polymer, uh, which is no surprise. Uh, stainless steel, or rather steel um, barrel and slide with the melanite finish, the black melanite. I'm trying to think what else I really wanted to talk about. Oh, one thing that I will be doing when I take it out in the range in the next couple days is test something I've been reading on the forums a lot, which is people saying that they're having trouble releasing the uh, magazine with this extended, or the extended magazine with this piece here, with this attachment. They, they're apparently having difficulty when extracting the magazine. Uh, I've been kind of playing around with it, and I think that may be because of how it's designed, this little back part here. Um, which I'll pull it up just so you can see. This here 
I think is kind of getting caught on the palm. Just a quick observation. Uh, when you hold it, as you can see, it gives you full three, pink, three finger grip on it. But when you release it, it, it tends to kind of get caught up here on the bottom of your palm, whereas the flat plate does not have that problem since it doesn't actually extend below the back of the, uh, of the grip there. Falls right out. So that I'm definitely going to test. Another complaint that people have is when you carry with the uh, flat plate in there and you carry the second magazine in your pocket, this little adapter here, since it's not uh, glued or, or secured to the base plate, does tend to ride up. Okay, uh, it doesn't take very much force to, to move this up and down, so I can see that happening in the pocket, especially when it's loaded or if it gets caught up on a uh, on the uh, inside of the pocket and then it makes it difficult to insert the magazine all the way so let's assume that shift it up okay you gotta pop it in and there you go I mean you really would have to hit it with some some force I mean a lot of force in order to um, you know circumvent that with one with one attempt in getting the magazine loaded um, <clears throat> what I may do is I may put a couple drops of crazy glue on the sides you know uh, and probably the front and just kind of lock this in place I do plan on getting more magazines all the other magazines I get will all be f with the flat floor plate I don't really care for that um, I prefer it it gives it a smaller footprint uh, again with this being you know concealed carry as its primary use smaller is better and I have no issues with having the pinky going underneath. I actually kind of prefer it that way. I've kind of gotten accustomed to that. Uh, having owned Glocks in the past, the 26, the 27. Uh, even on my 40 Compact, I get about two and a half fingers on it. So I just kind of throw my pinky underneath. So this is very comfortable position for me. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a great little gun. Uh, I, I was ecstatic to find it there. Uh, either tomorrow or the day after, or sometime this week essentially, I'm going to be taking it to the range. I've got six different types of ammo that I'm going to be shooting through it, uh, from standard full metal jackets to hollow points. I've even got a couple plus P's that I want to do. Um, and I also bought some uh, Blazer steel case to try as well, just to kind of see how the gun reacts to the different types of ammo. And uh, yeah, I've got, I've got some core bonds that I really, really want to try to see how it handles those. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, feel free to leave any comments, questions, concerns, anything you want me to try out or test at the range. Let me know um, if you're interested in seeing how the gun performs with a specific type of ammo or in a specific scenario. Let me know. I'll do my best to accommodate. But uh, yeah, there you have it. The MNP 40 Shield. Now I will be doing a video sometime in the near future here where I'll be comparing the shield to a side by side between the uh, shield and the uh, 40 compact so you guys can get a, a good visual on the size differences and so on since they're both 40 40 caliber I figure that would be a, a good video to do but uh, that's it for now let me know what you guys think thanks for watching